Hey guys, welcome back to VR Essentials. Today, very important news as there are some reports already about the next MetaQuest VR headset, the MetaQuest Plus or the MetaQuest Lite or perhaps MetaQuest 4 or who knows? We just don't know what the name is going to be. But what we do know is that the code name at the moment is Project Ventura, which reportedly will come out with some stuff. So let's just go very quickly inside of the actual report itself. So I can show you all the news. Apologies for the microphone today, uh, as I forgot it uh, at my other studio. So here we go. XR Daily News reports Meta's $200 VR headset for 2024 launch, guys to launch apparently allegedly without controllers. So here's a picture of the concept, you know, 3D render of what it might look like. Of course, it will not definitely not look like like this. Um, Project Ventura Meta's $200 headset uh, VR slated for 2024 release is reportedly set to launch without controllers. It has been months since the first hints of Meta's new VR and AR product roadmap surfaced. Initially, we learned that Meta has been developing two new headsets, Project Ventura and La Jolla. The early reports indicated that, re that Project Ventura, the codename for the low budget headset, would aim to pack the biggest punch at the most attractive price point in the VR consumer market. So guys, that is pretty, pretty phenomenal. You know, if it's only going to be $200 and, you know, it's going to pack a bunch. Allegedly, it will also have apparently pancake lenses as this will be the new uh, norm inside of the actual, you know, uh, industry itself. But no controllers means that, of course, all the apps, a little bit like spatial computing with the Apple uh, Vision Pro's headset, means that all the developers would basically have to <laughs> scramble all together and redo all their apps from using controllers to basically using hand tracking, which would be pretty amazing, I have to admit. Uh, but also equally would be very interesting for the space in the future because these apps would be compatible, no doubt, with the Meta Quest 3 and any other VR headset, even perhaps the Quest 2, who knows, uh, or, you know, other VR headsets in the future after that. So let's just go into the um, article again. And guys, do read, do write your thoughts in the comments below. Let's have a discussion as to what you think about all this. So uh, let me just go here first. A significant report follows a few months later from a Korean news outlet, which disclosed the Project Ventura, potentially named Quest 3 Lite, or similar is scheduled for a 2024 release at an incredibly low price point of just 200 US dollars. The initial report lacked specific details about what features Meta might omit from the device to cut costs, leaving room for speculation. However, this has been clarified in the latest report from Bloomberg, everybody. So a pretty credible uh, you know, publication. Mark Gunman, a highly regarded technology analyst known for the accuracy of his reports, wrote an article on the next generation Apple Vision Pro headset. In this article, he also provided insights into Meta's upcoming VR AR headsets, including Project Ventura. So he spoke about it. Uh, according to, Gar to German, excuse me, uh, Meta intends to launch a cheaper mixed reality headset. Okay, we just spoke about this. The statement suggests that Meta doesn't intend to compromise on mixed reality features, and it shows Meta's strong focus on making mixed reality gain as much mass appeal as virtual reality did. So here are some, you know, some, some, some drawings here. as to what potentially could look like. Okay, it looks pretty interesting. It looks quite, uh, I mean, we can't really tell from here, but it looks pretty plasticky, I would say. There's no special looking design on the front, or maybe they'll add some mirror or some, some way to personalize it, add some colors, all these various different things. Um, okay, and also, uh, by the way, apparently, also apparently, allegedly, there will be a click-clack system for the IPD, a little bit like the Quest 2. So this could also be the reason why it will be cheaper instead of the Quest 3's manual IPD adjuster, which I, oh, I will love that so much more than the automatic IPD. Uh, Pimax 2, by the way, does have the automa automatic IPD. You just press the button and it automatically does it for you. You don't have to click anything anywhere. It just does everything for you. That's pretty cool. But it is true that perhaps the technology is a little bit advanced and also it could add to the weight as well. So let's just go back into the report very quickly. According to German, Meta is considering the idea of not including controllers with a headset. So we know this already. Instead, users would have to buy the accessories separately or operate the headset with hand gestures. This indicates that users will have the option to buy controllers separately, enabling them to access Meta's extensive game library. Now, by the way, 
By the way, guys, I did call this on other videos and do check the link in the description below when we were doing all the rumors, when there was actually a feature of Quest 3 on the Amazon for Japan, I did say, hey, are they going to provide controllers as accessories? Because it seems that this Quest is only available on its own. Do you guys remember this? If you are used to the channel, I did call this out. And also three years ago, three years ago, of course, I called out also the marketing uh, strategy of personalizing the headset with different colors. So do go and check out that video as well in the link description below. As uh, yeah, we've done some pretty cool predictions here on the channel, even though they're, you know, some of them are three years old and others are more recent. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's go back to the article because in most cases, VR games require controllers. Without controllers, users would only be able to access a limited portion of the current available experiences. So this is what I was trying to talk to you about, guys, in terms of forcing developers to redo their games using hand gestures. This aligns with a statement from a Meta employee confirming that Project Ventura will indeed have controllers. However, um, they did specify whether these controllers would be included with the device or not. Nevertheless, this confirms that the headset will only have controllers available at some point, whether bundled with the device or offered separately. So here are the controllers of the current Quest 3, uh, which don't have cameras. And of course the Quest Pro controllers look very similar with no rings around them, but they have their own tracked controllers on them. Mark Gunman also mentioned the company would like to get the price back down to the previous $300 level with Project Ventura, which would help introduce mixed reality to a broader market. If this information holds true, it contradicts the earlier Korean report indicating a $200 price point for Project Ventura. However, if Meta plans to give an option for controllers as the accessory, it is possible that the company may offer two variants, one at $200 and one at $300. So also guys, this means that it also is possible that they might be doing Vision Pro, a uh, Apple Vision Pro, a favor here because if all the developers are forced to do games with no controllers, that means potentially they could also download the SDK for the Apple Vision Pro, reformat their games to be Vision Pro friendly. So this could actually be giving Apple Vision Pro a edge here uh, in, in getting more sales because then they could become more of a gaming uh, console or VR device for the future when they release the less expensive Vision Pro, which is scheduled to release originally, it was supposed to be 2025, but now there were reports that it would be around 2027. Mm. So this is pretty exciting stuff. In summary, based on the available information, we can speculate that Project Ventura will feature mixed reality and likely offer optional controllers. While we lack confirmation on specific like optics, processor, resolution, or FOV, it's clear that Meta will need to make some compromises in these areas to achieve the rumored two or $300 price point. Meta also needs to differentiate Project Ventura from the higher price $500 Quest 3, which offers unique features to justify the cost. Certainly. But guys, to be honest with you, Meta doesn't really care. If they will make the Project Ventura much better at a lower price point, they will basically, even myself, who is going to pay nearly a thousand Singapore dollars for the Quest 3, which is arriving, by the way, in just a few days' time. So do hit the notification bell after you subscribe to make sure that you do be notified of the videos I'll be uploading about the Quest 3. And guys, this uh, this video today, by the way, is sponsored by VR-Wave.store, who provide lens prescription adapters for Quest 3, Quest Pro, Pico, absolutely everything. So do go and check out their website. They have a promotion running at the moment in October where you can do a pre-order for the Quest 3 and also other VR headsets. 5% discount, guys, with the promo code VR Essentials. By the way, description in the below the like button uh, below. So go and check that out, guys. But yeah, guys, so there you go. We don't know, you know, whether it will be a better or less better headset, of course, but it would not surprise me even if it is a better headset, to be honest with you. Um, you know, and if the only difference is the IPD adjuster and that's it, it could very well be a much better headset, just a lower price point, and then they will ditch the Quest 3. Who knows? We just don't know, guys. I'm just saying that Quest, Meta are very cheeky in their marketing. They've done it before. There's no reason why they can't do it again. But let's see. They also said that even though it will be $200, German actually in another report said, we don't want to compromise, um, you know, the gameplay and also the product itself for people, even though they're paying a less price. So that's why I'm just saying that it is possible that Meta themselves may deliver a very good quality product at that price. And you know, if you don't wanna wait, or if you're willing to wait an extra year, although we don't have the specifics in terms of the detail, it could be announced at the next Connect next year um, in September 2024, very possible as well. Who knows, we don't know, or it could come out even before that. So 
Traditionally, headsets at Meta have come out either in the May area or the October area, just so you know. All right, guys, until next time, smash the like so more people get to see this video and we can grow together, um, you know, the YouTube, the VR Essentials YouTube channel community. So that'll be really awesome. Smash the notification bell after you subscribe so you're notified of all the juicy videos coming very soon. Until next time, take it easy. I'll see another video very shortly in probably this one or that one. Bye for now. Bye, 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 bye.